Alrighty, I guess we are gonna get going here with painting our Kalimba. Hype, hype, hype. There we go. Alright, hi everyone. So today we are going to paint and assemble this uh, shitty DIY Kalimba. We're gonna paint this really rad looking neon cat on it and on the back we're gonna do some genshin shit because you know i love genshin genshin's pretty cool uh yeah it's try refreshing there because it's showing uh i just checked on my browser and it's short okay all right okay so we're gonna start off with painting the super rad cat on the front of the kalimba and then we're gonna do the stuff on the back of the kalimba once you know the front part dries so we're gonna be painting these uh super cool shutter shades purple the body of the cat itself is gonna be blue with this part pink and the bow tie yellow. So I'm gonna do the bow tie before I do the pink. Hi Ed, yeah, doing art stream. Gonna be doing some super funky stuff here. Gotta get my paints open though. That's what the scissors are for. How you doing today, Ed? Happy Sunday. Had to stop and think about what day today is, cause you know, not a regular stream day. This is usually one of my D&D &D days. But D&D, &D, Sunday D&D &D is on hiatus for a bit. Both my games. That's okay. People need to recharge. All right, so you know, we're gonna start with doing the yellow. Oh. Today's super cold, can we trade? It's like almost 30 degrees here and I hate it. All right, so, oh, that's a nice yellow. I, I like it, especially when it's mixed with some sooty fur. Really adds to the aesthetic. Oh yeah. It's, a, it's hard to see, but that's a, like a nice highlighter yellow. Oh, 12 degrees, what? I don't know if you can hear my, my children fighting in the background, but uh, they're being big butts. 
yeah we're having a lovely heat wave here in Atlantic Canada like ongoing all summer it'd be uh, worse if we didn't live in a basement I think uh, I see my neighbors outside constantly laying in the shade ones from the upper units and it's like you poor bastards there we go so we can be a little sloppy with the yellow because it's gonna get covered up with the pink anyways because it's so light I'm gonna have to do two coats and then I'm gonna do like some color accents along the edge with like a different color. Um, I don't know what color yet, probably purple. Oh, you're not able to hear them? <laughs> Titanium, what? Oh, bingo, hey, I got the perfect shirt for today. It's my Bobcat shirt. See, yeah, yeah. Pretty nice, right? Pretty appropriate. <laughs> we'll get some nice titanium white. I think I left my white somewhere else, actually. Oh well, if I need it, I'll just get a tool to go grab it. Minus got the drip, the drip. Um, we'll do the we'll do the shutter shades next. Oh, that's slang for good attire. Oh, I've never heard that. That's interesting slang. But yeah, I've got a couple of Bob uh, Bob Ross shirts. I wore my other one for my last art stream because it seemed appropriate. And then I was like, you know what? I've got a different one. I'll wear it for the next art stream. I'll have to find something else to do for an art stream after this. I don't know what I'll do next. I'm starting to run out of DIY instruments. I cannot get this fucking purple open, guys. No, I can do it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Gundam? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to be doing a Gundam. I've got it all picked out. And actually, we've got um, one from Escaflone as well that I just ordered. I've never seen Escaflone models. And O'Toole found one that was, like, just released. And I dug around till I found somewhere it was still available and ordered it. Escaflone, I loved it when I was uh, a kid. It was one of my first animes. In hindsight, really fucked up, but it's fine. Build the Macross Elysian. I don't know much. I still need to watch like Macross stuff so that I actually know what this stuff is. Um, shutter shades. I was doing the shutter shades, so I need purple. It's easy work. Mm, um, I feel like you're lying. Is Ed lying to me, guys? So it is amazing, okay. <laughs> but is he being honest about it being uh, super easy? Flying gun the size of Detroit, okay. Space Bismarck. That becomes a robot. Oh God. Well, that sounds intense. Man, this paintbrush was a bad choice for that. Let's use this one instead. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna get this nice purple in here. It's gonna need a couple coats cause I like picked out the neon colors that I could find at the store. It's just kind of on a whim. I'd been talking about it with Sock, how uh, I should do like a rad neon cat. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I don't have any better ideas. So we're gonna do the rad neon cat. Hey, The robot is so tall that if you get to the ship bay, the wind is so strong, it can lift you. What the fuck? <laughs> That's pretty wild. Yeah, I'm gonna do these shutter shades. Um, oops. This is like, this part here is gonna be blue because you know, like it's the nose part of it. I'm not even sure how much of these shutter shades you're gonna really see once I put all the hardware on, but you know what, it's fine. We'll all know in our hearts that they're shutter shades. I don't even know how to play a kalimba. <laughs> it's just like the ukulele all over again. Or the harmonica that I've got over here. I don't actually know how to play the harmonica. 
but we saw it at a pawn shop and I was like, you know what? Let's add that to my instrument repertoire. But yeah, I've got a Gundam model kit that I'm going to assemble next time. That'll probably maybe be sometime next month. I might try to do like an art stream once a month kind of thing. Might be a good idea. Get me to do more artsy things. Because honestly, like, I feel bad, but I don't do as much art as I used to. I just feel like I don't have time. But... I don't know, streaming's helping me get back into it. Like, I do all my own stream stuff. Um, mostly. Anyways, I didn't do, like, the transition thing because those are really complicated and I don't know, how to, don't know how to do animation stuff, but I did all the borders and scenes and whatnot. All right, we're going to let that dry. How's that yellow looking? Not dry. Hey, Papa! Hi! Yeah, I'm doing an early stream today because uh, I wanted to be able to do art and it usually takes me a bit longer than my regular stream, so we're gonna do that. How you doing today, Papa? Having a good Sunday? Is it Sunday there? Yeah, you're just a few hours ahead of us, I think. You're not like Sock where you're just living in an entirely different world. No, we're, gonna, we're just gonna slap on some more, some more yellow there. Yeah. But yeah, I'm making a kalimba, Papa. Um, it's gonna look like this really rad screaming cat in like neon colors. And then, so when I play it, all the sounds are gonna come out of the screaming cat's mouth. <laughs> and uh, it's arguably gonna be awful, but great all at once. And really, that's all that matters. Oh yeah, those cat hairs getting in there. Oh, making nice, nice colors. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm on summer vacation right now, which is super hype. I love summer vacation. O'Toole's not on summer vacation, but it's fine. Yeah, just having a grand old time. All right, what am I doing? I'm painting these ear inside parts pink because the body's going to be blue. So this part here is all going to be blue. This is going to be pink. Uh, I don't know what to do with the mouth or the nose yet, but I've got lots of color options, so I'm sure I'll figure something out. Imagine having summer vacation. Yeah, perks of being a teacher, bud. <laughs> I'm on vacay for two months, although since I'm a substitute, I'd, I have to get EI. I don't get actually paid during the summer, which is the biggest sad of this situation. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's see. Drive faster, damn you! Yeah, so on the back, I've got a Genshin vision sketched out. When it's not summer, you study. When it is summer, you work to save up for the time you study. Yeah, that's fair. I've only been able to actually have summer vacation like the last three or four years. Because I used to work at Walmart and you know, so my summer would be like full-time Walmart work. And then during the year would be part-time Walmart, part-time teaching or studying. That was just very much fuck my life. But uh, yeah, I'm old enough now that I get that. Summer vacay as a teacher. And I worked enough hours to get proper EI. So, yeah, he's a good time. Yeah, Walmart. Fuck Walmart. It is the bane of my existence. And, uh, what, what, what do you mean, Ed? What have you noticed? Don't know if it's good or not. Yeah, I worked at Walmart for nine years since I was 17, right up till I was like 26. And uh, yeah, I just honestly wanted to die. It wasn't a good time, <laughs> but it's fine because I'm free from Walmart now. 
I'm safe. Walmart can't hurt me anymore. I can go there and cause all the disruptions I want. What are they going to do about it? Yeah, well, I guess I can paint the blue. Uh, I see the kids are fighting again. Can you guys fuck off? Mummy's trying to do some art, guys. I promise they're not real kids. I wouldn't speak to real kids like that. They are, in fact, cats. Or would I speak to real kids like that? Who knows? People uh, trust me with their children, so... <laughs> You're not sure if that amount of dopamine is healthy or not? Oh, That's so nice, though. <laughs> Everyone is so much older than... How old are you, Papa? I feel like I've asked this before, but I don't remember what the answer was. And I feel like uh, a lot of people get my age wrong, so... I was mistaken as a high schooler when I was teaching the high schoolers a few years back. That was great. Oh, 19. Oh, he is just a little baby. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, I'm actually 30. <laughs> so yeah, I got a few years on you there. Just just a couple. Just a couple. It's fine. I'm still I'm still hip and with it or whatever it is the kids say. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm so bad at remembering people's ages. I know that Dingo was like a, a cradle robber with Goldie. Hey, Miss Jed! Hello, hello! Welcome! Yeah, right! See, like, nobody, like... Nobody would really guess that I'm, like, 30. I'm turning 31 in November, but, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I could still pass as, like, lower 20s. <laughs> Yeah, age is just a number. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. So like one time, um, O'Toole and I were out walking and I I would have been, what, 24 at this time? Yeah, and uh, he was having a particularly rough day. He looked really haggard and I was wearing like neon pants and a unicorn hoodie. And uh, his prof must have seen us walking around and like commented on it later like, Oh, I saw you out and about with your daughter! And just like, that's, uh, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> but sure, okay. But it was great because after that I got the granddaughter discount at uh, O'Toole's mother's store. So really, everybody wins. <laughs> yeah. And it uh, didn't help too. I think O'Toole was wearing like a stereotypical, more like old man kind of hat, which I quite like on him, but it's the kind of hat you usually see older guys wearing. And yeah, so yeah, that was awkward. Luckily, I was not there for the actual, uh, yeah, so you with your daughter comment. I just heard about it later. Spin this cat around. Man, these neon colors go on so thin. I'm gonna need like five coats to get the intensity I'm going for. Oh my, oh my. Alright. That's okay. You know what? It's fine. We got lots of time, that's why I did the stream earlier, because I uh, remembered from the ukulele that it took quite a few colors to get uh, all the coats done right. Which reminds me, I finally updated the ukulele with all the correct number of hearts and all the names it's supposed to have. I kept forgetting to put uh, Okami Yuki on there since she got a gift sub. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, this cat's looking pretty rad, guys. What color should I do his nose, do you think? So like, this part here is gonna be pink. 
And then this is blue, obviously. And I don't know what color I'm gonna do. The mouth, the teeth are gonna be like, I don't know, green or something, green teeth. Cause I got a whole box of colors. I could do the nose like orange. Hmm. Ponder, ponder, ponder. What's that yellow looking? Yeah, it's almost dry. It's dry enough. I'm such a impatient painter. Oh, it's mostly dry. We're just going to just gonna touch it up there. Is that a, a little bit of yellow? Oh yeah. What a rad bow tie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add some color accents to cover up some of the uh, pencil lines, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Drive faster, please. Yeah, you know what? The purple's not so dry. We're just, we're just gonna go for it. Add that next layer on it. Yeah, I think uh, around the edges, if I have time for it, I'm gonna like add uh, sheeps. Maybe Minecraft sheeps? Maybe AoE sheeps? I don't know. Or maybe I'm just gonna like make it look like Aether Fire, Aether Storm stuff from uh, Grim Dawn since that's what I've been playing a lot of lately. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that nice purple. Put some more pink in the little ears. Hmm. Uh oh, what's that? Let's see. Um, what color do I want to do the nose? I've got my big box of other paints down here. Oh, let's see, it's got the options on the back. Um I'm thinking like a like an orange or something might be nice. The green. I think green. Let's see. What do I got for green? Got this nice light green. Yeah, and it's funny, yeah, because uh, O'Toole actually is younger than me. Um, only by six months but I am the elder of us. Had your hands in biscuits? What? You're not sharing? Oh yeah, green nose. Green nose is a good idea. That looks pretty red. What I might do at the end is I might like take a thin uh, paintbrush and like just go around and edge everything with like black just to really make it pop a little bit more. <laughs> you were singing I'm turning 30 as I was talking about my age. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's funny. I just recently stopped getting ID'd at the liquor store. So, you know, that's a plus. And by ID, I mean like they want me to have my ID when I come in. And it's just like, I swear to God, I've been legal for a decade. So like, please just let me buy my booze so I can drink away my sorrows. But 
whatever. They gotta do their di due diligence and make sure I'm not secretly a teenager pretending to be a 30-year-old woman. <laughs> I also thought of this. Watch that all my stupid friends are having stupid children. I mean, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I love some of my friends, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Some of my friends are starting to have kids. Uh, one or two of them already have kids, and their kid is of uh, questionable quality. I'm sure he could be a very lovely child, but he's not. <laughs> he is exhausting. Uh, just O'Toole watched it. I didn't see it. So you saw Bo Burnham's inside? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it. He has a good gauge from the kind of things that I'd be interested to watch with him and what kind of things I probably wouldn't. So, if he thinks it's not going to be something I'm going to be interested to watch, he'll usually just watch it by himself. I'm, I'm fussy with movies. Discerning taste, yeah. Not fussy, just discerning. It's also like a pain to get me to sit down and uh, watch multiple movies. I'm like a one movie kind of gal and then I'm good for a few days. Where I feel like O'Toole could probably just watch movies all day. <laughs> yeah. He should play that one song for you. Yeah, I'll probably I'll get him to play it for me. The, all my stupid friends are. Yeah. He's nodded. He's busy focused on Hardcore Grim Dawn, though, so I should, uh... <laughs> you fine? Yeah. I'm gonna hear, like, in ten minutes that there's a tragic accident because I was busy distracting him. Aww. Drive faster! Oh, man. All right, just so I can know what the heck you're talking about. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, hardcore scary, like, I'm so scared of dying all the time. I'm gonna start working on a backup hardcore character for, uh, no wait, you know what? No, she's not gonna die. She's gonna live forever. It's fine. Yeah, this rad cat's really starting to come together. It's looking pretty cool. So yeah, so down here is gonna be my my pink. It's just gonna need so many coats. What the heck? Guess what's what I get for getting the neon paint. And shitty paintbrushes. Yeah, and the color's so good, like, it's really gonna, once it's all done, and I'm gonna, like, seal it with the glitter paint, because, you know, you can't go wrong with glitter, to quote my mother. Seal it with the glitter paint and then it'll be really sparkly and just fucking red. I've just been stuck on using that word to describe this. Rad.
Yeah, hey, Mr. What are you uh what are you down to later? You uh gonna be maybe free to play a, a couple games or so? And if not today, maybe uh maybe tomorrow. Oh, which reminds me that I won't be streaming Friday next week because I'm gonna be away visiting a friend I haven't seen in a year because of Plague Life. Hell yeah, anytime! Fucking right. Nice. Because, like, quite frankly, I love gaming with you, Miss Jet. You're one of my favorite people to game with. You're so, uh, chill. I can't, I can't game with people who are super intense and over the top and ah! It stresses me the fuck out. So, I appreciate you. I need to get back into Minecraft so I can like come hang out with you guys there. Go make a new rainbow tower. Or house, maybe I'll make like a big mansion this time. I was looking on AliExpress on like what other DIY instrument kind of things they have. They've got a like a little hand harp. Like just a little one. And I'm intrigued. I mean obviously I don't know how to play the harp. But I also don't know how to play the kalimba or the ukulele. And I've got those. I don't know. If it goes on sale, that might be my next instrument. Do something funky with it. Yeah, we game to de-stress, not to be more stressed. The only time I game to be stressed is uh, Hardcore Grim Dawn. Because, you know, that's what the masses want. They want to see you cry when your character dies. Oh, shoot. That green wasn't dry enough. It's okay. We can fix it. We've got the technology. Oh, yeah. Hey, tool. Look at this rad fucking kit. Right? Bowtie's so good. I should do with the mouth. Maybe I should just do it black. The hole around it, or maybe I should do it like. I don't know. Let me look at let me look at my color options. Um I mean I could do orange. Hey. Got all these two. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It'll be like one of the last things I do, so is good. That purple looking. Mostly dry. Yes, we're just gonna go for that. Where did I put that paintbrush? Oh, it's right there. Five dollar kalimba. What does it matter? I mean, Bob Ross would approve of my efforts, and that's all that matters. So I'm doing my best. 
And that's all he ever asks of us. Do you think Bob Ross would be proud of me? Yeah. Yeah. The tool thinks he'd be very proud of me. Yeah, it's a little streaky right now, but once I get the layers of paint on, it'll look a lot better. I'm just glad I remembered to prime it properly this time and had enough paint to do so. I'm gonna think about what colors to use for that animo vision. Cause you need like a lighter green. So I've got like tray pink. This is like a like a mint green. I could probably mix one up. Look up a reference. Animal vision. Animal vision. Yeah, it's like a like a nice light green. I guess when it's glowing, it almost looks white too, but. Like a greenish blue, I guess, on some of them. Yeah, let's, let's look at Venti's. He's my boy. So I'm doing Animo because so many of my characters that I use are Animo Vision users. Like, I've got Chow, I've got Venti, I've got Sucrose, I just got Jean. I was trying to get Kazuha, but I lost on the 50-50 and ended up with Jean, so that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just... Yeah, we'll figure it out. I do need to grab my white, though. I think I left it over by my spot. I think my camera froze. Hey! Yeah, it did. Just a second there. It does this sometimes. Is a bit of a butt. There we go. That's better. Very, very rude of it to do that. But whatever, it is what it is. All right, so I got my got my white. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna see if I can mix up a proper green to use for the animo vision. Is this even open? This isn't even open. I've never used this. What? I swear to God, I've had this for ages, but I guess I never opened it. Cool. Well, that should mean that hopefully it's not garbage. Okay, put that white right in there, and what we're going to do is shuffle this over a little bit, get a clean paintbrush, yeah that's as clean as it's good, whoops, whoa. Well, that's sad. Well, it is a dollar store paintbrush, so I'm not surprised, but... Jeez. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, like, take some green and mix it in. Hey, Ed! Welcome back! 
I'm just uh, waiting for paint to dry. Letting you guys watch paint dry while I try to mix up a good Genshin green. It's gonna need a hint of blue in it, I think, to get it the right shade. Yeah, I'm gonna need like a little bit of blue. Oh, I think that was a, uh, a bot, ha <laughs> ha! The thing works, perfect. Oh, you're almost there for the gourmet treat for the cats. Oh, that's exciting, they're gonna love that. I've got that right in my drawer here. Uh, what was I doing? I'm looking for blue. <laughs> So we're just gonna add, we're not gonna use the neon blue because I don't know how that'll mix with regular paint colors. So we're gonna use probably my cerulean blue. Yeah, that would be the best bet, I think. So we'll just put a little bit of that right over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that in with uh, this here. Try to get not too much of it though, just a little bit. Because the animal vision, it looks like it has like a hint of blue in it. It's not just purely green. Yeah, let's add some more blue. Hmm. Mixed in, let's see. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I think that'll work. And the background's gonna be like a darker green. Girlfriend woke up after an afternoon nap. Now you're talking. You're absolutely dumb right now. Ah. <laughs> I'll say hi to your girlfriend for me. She seems so lovely. And you guys seem so very happy together, so that's always nice. Alright, is the blue dry? Yeah, I think it's dry enough. I say that every time for all the colors. Yeah, it's dry enough! I can I can add another coat on it and it's just like, hmm, it really wasn't. But I think this time the blue actually was because I gave it time to dry while I mixed colors. That nice blue going in here. Getting this cool cat some uh, more definition happening. Oh, he's so cool. Quite possibly the coolest cat I've ever seen. Oh, uh, the tree animation's gonna be delayed? That's fair. It seems like a tough animation to do. It looked like it was coming along really good last I saw, though. Let's see. Painting on them ears. I think my, my son was just crying. He's so sad, like, he doesn't meow properly. It's going well, but you got hardware issues, you need more RAM. Oh, that sucks. That's the worst. Okay, so I think the, let's see. The bow tie is just about done, like gonna put a little bit more yellow on it but I think it's as yellow as it's gonna get looking pretty smooth yeah so I'm gonna use like once it's fully dry I'm gonna use some purple to like accent it or maybe outline parts of it I don't know just bits and bits here and there like little here little here maybe a little here 
don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing when it's time to do that. Yeah, that animal vision is going to be cool. Probably just going to paint the outside here like yellow since it has like gold around it typically. And then this part, this is going to be like the design itself is going to be this color I just mixed up. And then the background's going to be like a darker version of that color. So what I should do is get a bunch more green. and mix it with just like a smidge of white. Add that titanium of white. And mix that up. Yeah. We will add a little bit of a blue to this as well, just you know. Make sure it's kind of a matching color palette to the other. Maybe some more blue. Let's let's yeah, you know, let's just put some blue in there. Oh, no, not like that. There we go. Ugh. Guys, I suck <laughs> at putting lids on things. it should have more blue. Maybe a bit of a darker blue. Let's see what we got. I've got 24 colors in here. One of them should be proper. Uh, let's try maybe brilliant blue. Oh, that's a nice dark blue. Give that one a go. Ooh. I like that a lot more. There we go. We need some more white though. Now it's too dark. Yeah, get that titanium white in there. I love mixing colors. I like to think I'm pretty good at it, but who knows? Maybe it's just my own flawed perception of the colors. But I, think, I think that's, yeah, I like that. Yeah, those will look good together. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is, since the other one is so light, I'm probably just gonna paint it first and then carefully edge in the darker color since it'll be easy to go over the lighter color with the darker color obviously. We had a barbecue yesterday when the guests didn't come. Oh, that's always uh, always disappointing. Did they at least let you know they weren't going to come, or did they just ghost you? Personally, I think it's just rude as shit when people ghost people. Like, you invite them to something, and they're like, Oh, yes! I'll totally be there! And then you're waiting for, like, three hours, and they never show up. Yeah, let's do a little... That just, this just helps to define the bow tie just a little bit, and also add a little bit of an interesting look to it. Uh, he told you he was going to be late and then never answered. Rude shit. You were nice enough to invite him to a barbecue and then he just doesn't fucking show up. Oh, gotta give the cats a gourmet treat. Okay, let me go, let me go get their bowl because I've learned from last time that uh, just trying to give it to them doesn't work. Treat, treat, treat. Right. 
All right. Children. Hey. Oh, here comes Bean. Oh yeah, she knows what's up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the gourmet treat into this really grubby cat bowl. Oh, here comes Zoe. She knows what's up. This one's with tuna and shrimp. Oh, they're gonna like this. Oh, and Sooty's here. Hi, guys! I have to move the box I've got my camera taped to so that you guys can see these cats. I'll make sure to hide my feet first, though. So yeah, this is basically like a yogurt tube for cats. And they go wild over it, like they love it so much. Okay, let me, let me tuck my feet underneath myself. <laughs> All right. No feet stream. Yeah, see, I just got nubs. I don't even have feet. <laughs> I'm disabled. Children! This is from Ed, because he loves you so much. Bean, get over here. Hey, get in there, Zoe. Like, if you want some, you gotta get in there. Sooty, move your fat head. Oh, there's Bean. Hey, Bean! Okay, Sooty's gonna eat it all. Okay, Sooty, take a break. Gonna have to put a foot down and be careful here. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know how to draw feet, so my own feet are just, in fact, a pair of triangles. You're right. There we go. Give Bean some. Sorry, you already had your share. Get out of here. Oh, foot stream. Oh no. <laughs> hey, take a break. Let Bean have some. You're such a pig. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's gone. It's all gone. You guys ate it all. Congratulations. Yeah, Zoe, it's empty. Sooty, it's, look, it's all gone. You little piggies, you ate it all. It's from Ed. Tell him thank you. Yeah. Good job, guys. Finished off the treats. There you go. They're so happy, but they think I have more treats. I don't, guys. That's all you're getting. <laughs> so yeah, my camera right now is attached to a cardboard box so that I could have the right height to be able to see the kalimba. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I think you can see the box, right? Yeah, box stream. You having a deja vu right now? Oh. There we go. What kind of deja vu? Oh, pink stripe. I can do pink now. Like purple. neon cat is coming together guys colors are starting to smooth out and look a little less blotchy according to your deja vu one of the cats is going to get on top of the table well they very well might if they come looking at in search of treats sorty in particular is bad about that They're just, uh, they're on the floor right now, pushing the bowl around. Can you guys fuck off? It's empty. You ate literally everything. Oh, Zoe thinks there's some outside of the bowl. There isn't, but she's fat and desperate, so we'll just let her have this one. All right, 
I think they've wandered off. Zoe's still here. Hi, Zoe. Maybe if it was a dumb dream you had a few years ago, you gave cats a treat in this dream. One of the cats had some pink on his face and he got up on the table. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Hard to say, because it uh, doesn't look like any of the cats are getting up on the table for this. Zoe might be thinking about it, but she's too fat, so uh, she probably won't be. them do it they'll step on the paint yeah they definitely would i don't want them to come up here i love them but they need to stay on the floor you have these sometimes just this like feeling you've already seen it before oh tool gets those sometimes too uh he'll have dreams about things and every now and then he'll just stop and be like oh i had i had a dream about this he says because he's crazy but I don't know. It's hard to hard to classify everything under like scientific explanations because there's got to be something more out there. But who knows? Yeah, if anybody was going to jump up here, it'd probably be the bean, because she's a moron. And uh, she would definitely walk right across the paint, because, again, she's a moron. But we love her anyways, because she's our precious little bean sprout. But yeah, is that what happened uh, in your, your dream, or like your deja vu feeling, when the cats jumped up and walked right through the paint? That would be something nice to avoid. I don't want the cats getting up here. Okay, you, you already ate it all. Just go away. There's always such a fat ass. She's still pushing it around. Desperate for it. You have a theory that with the correct amount of variables, you can measure and predetermine anything in the world, even human behavior, but for that, we need an incredible computer that defies the laws of physics. I mean, that makes sense. But yeah, it, we'd need a pretty souped up, uh, super, super, super computer for that, you're right. Yeah, I have that blue. Blue is pretty dry. I can do another coat of that now. I was made for the deja vu dreams. It's like we actually managed to measure an event. Oh, that would be, that's an interesting interpretation. Hmm. So I got stuck on um, the subreddit the other day too about uh, people feeling like they had a, a glitch in the matrix kind of thing and they couldn't explain it. And Like someone saying, like, I used to pass by this house and it was always white. I know it was white because I'd always stop and admire it. And then uh, one day I passed by and it was white. And on my way home when I passed by, it was this beautiful, lovely blue. And everybody they talked to insisted it had always been blue. But they were like, no, I remember clear as day, white with red shutters. Yeah, weird. There are things in the world we can't explain. Hello, Bean! Hey! Say hi to the camera! I could just use her neon paw prints for decoration. Oh, that's an idea. Way to salvage whatever mess this moron would make. Okay, don't jump over on the desk, okay, Bean? Ed's warned me about it. And I can see you being an asshole when doing that. Okay. 
I think one more coat of blue and one more coat of pink should be good. I think the purple's good. Well, let me let me see how much of the purple's actually going to be covered by the hardware before I paint on the. Oh, we got cat treat all over this. Let me just. Oh, gross! Oh, now my hands are covered in cat food. Here, bean, clean this off. Yeah, it's got cat food on it. Just lick it. Please. Thank you. Yeah, the stars are aligning. and Bean's, uh, Bean's back here and she's, uh, she's ready to pounce if she gets her chance. Yeah, she's trying to like, cause I was letting her lick the bag. Okay, so it would cover like that much. So yeah, I think I can put the shutter shades on there. It'll be good. Let's see. Okay, don't, don't touch anything, okay? I love you, Bean, but you're an asshole. <laughs> Alright, let's add a little more to this purple accent that I'm doing here. I have a hard time getting like the nice uh, straight narrow lines because I find I have really shaky hands. It's a struggle to get the lines nice and crisp. No, you spun around. Okay. Are you just gonna you're gonna keep me company here, Bean? There we go. There we go. Nice bow tie, got some nice accents on it. Might like outline it in a different yellow as well. my little cat lights back here. She keeps trying to pull them off. We actually have to keep the chair down and spun around because she's an asshole who just tries to eat them. It's also why my fairy lights, if you'll notice, they're not here right now because they are up there because <laughs> Bean tries to climb them because she's an asshole. she was doing back there. Being a big old butthead is what. Situation was no longer the same, therefore something similar but different will occur. All right, well, I already kicked her out because she's being a butt, so uh, <laughs> crisis averted? <laughs> Green. I've. Wait. Why is this called ivory black? That's not how that goes, right? Isn't. Look at this. Uh, I don't know if you guys can read that very well, but it's. The color is ivory black. Um. Black ivory? Well, I thought it was usually like ebony or something. Oh, yeah. 
You're just being a fucking shit, yeah. I've never heard of Ivy Black. You know, read blur very a lot. Yeah, that's fair. My camera doesn't have like good zoom. Uh, maybe if I like hold it there. No, no, it doesn't. It's the yeah. I'm looking at it on my screen. It doesn't uh, let you guys see very well. It's okay. Just know that it says it is ivory black, and that's really fucked up. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna do the shutter shade line. So I'm just gonna be doing like some black horizontal lines just to make them look like those dumb shutter shade sunglasses that some of these uh, preppy kids have. The lines aren't gonna be very straight because my hands are so shaky. <laughs> yeah, you gotta trust me on this one. Would I lie to you, Papa? I'd never lie to you. I am the most honest, trustworthy person. Don't you give me your sasso tool. Fuck, my hands are so shaky. I can't do this. That's fine. You know what? It's fine. That's cool. You're not really going to see that one anyways. No, I'd never lie to you. I don't lie. Ever. Nuh-uh. You can't prove it anyways. Alright, here we go. Really shady looking shutter shade lines, but you get the picture. These are going to be like under the kalimba finger things anyways, so. What do you think, dear? Yeah, fucking shutter shades. I don't know, should I outline things in the black? Hmm. What's your thought? If I like put like a black boundary between the colors? You think it'd be kind of cool? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Apparently a real color, brown slash black, made from charred bones, also referred to as bone black. All right, Miss Jet coming in here with the knowledge. Where'd my music go? Oh, my music stopped because I've been streaming for an hour already. Let me, uh, I guess I gotta restart that. So I need that nice background noise. Now the ivory makes sense because bones, charred tusks. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Miss Jet, because I was like, I always looked at it whenever I got my colors out, but I was like, eh, I'll look it up some other time. And uh, yeah, I just never look it up, so. Oh yeah, I like the black. It does make the colors pop a bit more. It tidies up some of the boundaries. Yeah, and I think if I do it around the bow tie, it'll uh, help make that pop quite a bit too. Oh yeah. No, going back now. <laughs> That's fine. I uh, found out why you look sick face tired so you're not smiling or doing lots of facial expressions. That makes sense. 
when people look a bit more stoic, people tend to get concerned that there's something wrong with them. So like, fuck off, people can be tired without you uh, nagging at them. tie pops now isn't that nice you can tell it's really lopsided <laughs> Shit. that's fine you know it's fine what are they what are they gonna do fire me you can't fire me i own this stream are you dying I'm just watching this fucking shit show for poor O'Toole playing Gorm Dorm. He's just standing in the middle of a threesome and it looked like they were just... Well, it wasn't going well for him. He was not having fun. <laughs> it was, uh... I didn't want to do that. I wanted to use pink. Not blue. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. They were very much uh, ganging up on him and not in a fun way. I should have waited to do the black till I was absolutely sure I was done with the pink, but you know, living on the edge. Oh. See, I might just do the sides of the kalimba like off stream because I feel like otherwise, this is gonna be like a 10 hour stream. And uh, much respect to people who can do that, but I cannot. <laughs> like, I find, I think the longest one I've ever done was like four, four and a half hours. And I was pretty dead by the end of it. That pink looks pretty good. I think that I can be good with that being my last coat of the pink. And I just need like one last little coat of the blue. And I should be able to call that done. We'll say anyways, because again, you can't fire me, it's my stream. I do what I want. I don't know what color to do them out with. I think I'm gonna do it. Mm, maybe orange. Bright, violent red, who knows. Ooh. Messed up, I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry and go over that with a dip more blue. So I just wiped some paint off by mistake because I guess it wasn't dry there. Whoops! It's fine. Um, what do I want? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for the sides is I'm going to make it look like the Aether areas from Grim Dawn, and then I might paint like sheep on top of the background kind of image. I think that would look cool. Alright, so I'm thinking orange for the mouth, so let's find a good orange. That's red. Oh look, okay. I've got basic bitch orange and I've got vermilion.
When I was a kid, I always thought Vermilion was like a blue, and it really threw me off in Pokemon, like Vermilion City, that things weren't blue, they were orange. It's like, why is it orange? This is Vermilion City. It's like, oh. Baby Kresley, you're just a moron. It's fine. Uh, I'm thinking probably put some hot pink next to those. Yeah, I think the basic orange would be the best bet. I'll pick a dumb color for the teeth too. I can't just leave them white. White. What colors don't I have uh, here? I don't want to do red because I'm already doing orange for the mouth and that's going to be just too many of that color family. Hmm. I could do like a different purple. If I did blue, they'd pop quite a bit since uh, blue and orange are complementary opposites. <laughs> Vermelo is red and Portuguese, so oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, red that's pretty close to orange. Like vermilion's like an orangey red. But yeah, no. Baby baby Cresley didn't know all of her fancy color names. Cause I was five when Pokemon came out in North America, I'm pretty sure. Remember seeing that first episode on the TV while at my grandparents' place. And uh, we didn't have game consoles or anything because my... We had one, but my brother gave it away or something. I don't know. Or we were poor and it was never actually ours. I was like, again, I was like five or six, so I don't really know the exact specifics behind the Game Boy and consoles that we had, but all I know is we had them and then they, they went away. You know what, maybe we'll just leave the teeth white. They pop out quite a bit. But my brother was good about finding really good emulators. And then we did cheat our way, like he gave himself all the Pokemon so he could complete the Pokedex before leaving Pallet Town type thing. Oh, you were born in 2000, so you never had trouble. Yeah, see, I was born in uh, 1990, so I just add, once my birthday passes, just add 10 to whatever the uh, ending number on the year is. So like 2020 plus 10, 2030, 30's my age. Yeah, so you were born in 2000, so that means you're almost the same age as my, my sibling. <laughs> Just a few years older than them. You think blue, Mr. I think blue. Blue might be good. Maybe like this nice dark blue that I've already got here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. Oh, paint. Ah! I think I got it in my mouth. This is my life. Yeah, my sibling is. 13 years younger than me. They're still just a wee bab in high school. I think they were born in 2004. So I guess technically 13 and a half years younger than me. I just remember that when I was 26, they were 13. Oh yeah, look at those rad blue teeth. White's fine too? No, it's too late, Miss Jet. Already doing blue. No backsies. I like the blue though. I think the blue was a good choice. 
makes them pop quite a bit more than the white. Yeah. Oh, look at this rad boy. Oh my god, he's so fucking cool. Yeah, I just need to touch up a little bit of blue right there. And then I think I'll just have to edge it and then the front's gonna be done. Aside from sealing it, but I'll be sealing it off stream. Because I've gotta let it fully dry. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna have to like look up how to actually properly assemble parts of this kalimba too, because I don't actually know what order all the the keys and everything go in. And right, yeah, look, he's so fucking rad. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, tool. Look at this rad boy. Yeah. It's all coming together. I feel like I've got paint all over my mouth because I keep licking my paintbrushes. Bad habit I learned in art class. So I just I like to get the nice point on them, and to do that I lick it. Don't always make sure all the paint is clean off at first, though. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Yeah, every time you keep try to rush through doing the line work because if I take too long it gets too shaky and then it just looks bad. But then when I try to rush it, it also often ends up looking bad, so it's a loose lose. That's fine. I'm the Bob Ross of my creation. Bob Ross would be proud of me. There we go. Oh, he looks so cool. We go here. And then I think the front side is done. Aside from uh, adding the rad glitter later. Yeah. Oh, he's so cool! Feel like you need one of these in your life? Oh my goodness. Just saying, I'd be happy to do like a custom kalimba and then like send it to you. And you just remember that you have a big bag of M&Ms. Ah, nice. Okay, so once he dries a little bit, I'm gonna, ah! I'm gonna throw him and then I'm gonna flip him over and I'm gonna do the animo vision on the back. I see that I've gotten some paint all over the back, so that's fine. <laughs> Whoops, 
Yeah, I got a little bit of paint on him from my, my color swatches. That's okay. Oh, I just realized the pink on one side of his uh, his nose is a little crooked. Like it doesn't go on. It's fine. He's it's a tuxedo cat. They're not perfectly symmetrical. I mean, some of them are, but for the most part, they are not. All right, so we're gonna just dump all these paint brushes in the water for the moment because I'm not gonna be using any of the neon colors on the back. I'm gonna be using the greens. Uh, for that, I'm gonna want one of my smaller brushes. Uh, we'll use this one. And again, my vision also isn't like perfectly symmetrical, but who cares? Fire me. Oh right, you can't, because this is mine. So I'm gonna be like kind of sloppy with doing this because I'm gonna be covering up a lot of this with the darker color and the darker color is just going to go like right over it so who even cares you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna go go wild with it Woo! yeah just gonna just gonna slap that color on there oh yeah just like that who cares about them them fine details so I can fix those details when I add the dark color on. So, what does it even matter? Beautiful. Lovely. Fantastic. I'm so good at this. Totally looks like a like an animal vision right now. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do the outside yellow. Hopefully. Uh, with my big brush. Clean all the blue out of it. Yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. You know what? We're not here for perfectionism. We're just here for colors. Oh yeah, that's totally gonna cover up that blue and that edge there. Totally. Ah, oh, shit. Back! Uh, I might just have to do a few coats. Or maybe, like, I'll put some white over it and then put the yellow over top of the white. That might be the best bet. That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna what we're gonna do is like we're gonna put some nice heavy white on the edge there so that I can uh, try and cover it up a bit since I managed to get a splotch of blue so we'll just do it like this just kind of pat it on over it really nice and thick and then once it dries I can go over it with the yellow and it should blend right in and you shouldn't be able to even tell it's there of course, I'll always be able to tell it's there, because I know it's there, but... You guys, though. You'll forget it's there, and then you'll never know. Oh yeah, red here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to use a different little brush. We'll use this one. Start cleaning up my, my vision here. Here we go. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna look nice and clean once I'm done with it. It'll be perfect. That's a quote from O'Toole in one of his nightly slumbers. Every now and then he uh, talks in his sleep. One time he uh, just clears day in a really weird voice just it'll be perfect and i'm like what and he just kind of rolled over and it's like oh fuck he's asleep another time he woke up and he thought his legs were gone oh my legs my legs and just started like slapping at him it's like y your legs are there bud just go just and then he just flopped backwards and went back to sleep it's like okay Haven't had any weird sleep talking from him lately, but apparently uh, the other night I was doing some god awful stuff. He thought I was choking to death in my sleep. He had to come in and check on me because it's like you were making the most god awful noise, thought you were dying, and I'm like, oof, I don't even know what I was dreaming about. So I don't often remember my dreams, but they were a huge legitimate concern, so whoops. Sleepy Cresley's kind of a bitch though, so it's fine. <laughs> I once elbow dropped him while I was half asleep. <laughs> I woke up mid elbow drop and I was too late to stop it. So I just rolled over and pretended I was sleeping when the elbow dropped to his face woke him up. Cause you can't be mad at me if I'm sleeping, right? <laughs> yeah, I felt bad so I told him in the morning though. <laughs> Didn't want to deal with that at 2 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, it's still looking a lot, a lot like an animo vision so far. Come and read along. I love Genshin. We're getting a big update soon. We're gonna get to finally go to in Azuma, which they've been teasing us with for months. Apparently it's really dangerous there because of the vision hunt decrees. But it's fine because I don't have a vision because I'm the hero. Do what I want. If I want to steal your god powers, I steal your god powers. Oh yeah, I think that dropped on like Wednesday. I'm thinking about streaming Genshin again. Um, some of my characters are pretty decently powered up. Uh, nothing near some of the crazies that excessively grind for artifacts, but I've got some pretty decent artifact sets on my, my main group that I use. So oh yeah, my main party. Is like two Animo users, uh, Venti and Shao, and then Deluc or Eula, depending on where I'm taking them, and uh, tricked out Barbara. I've got like all of her healing stuff super boosted, so she can keep my team alive. Because everyone's like, "Oh, if you just know how to dodge, you don't even need a healer." I'm like, "Fuck you! I don't need a healer." <laughs> always need a healer. For a while I was uh, playing healers in co-op domains till I realized I could actually do the domains faster by myself instead of co-oping them because I'm pretty cool. Here. Mm -hmm. 
that. Oh, that's nice looking. It turned out pretty good. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but uh, considering I was just like eyeballing it off a computer screen when I sketched it, I think it's pretty good. Didn't have any kind of stencil or anything because I'm too lazy for that shit. Yeah, I'll probably do like a black outline around this or something too, just to tidy up uh, where the colors overlap. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, I think I'm going to use some of this color for like some of the aether stuff and then I'm going to get a more intense like acidic kind of green. Not quite acidic, it's like a minty acid, I guess, is a good way to describe it. I'd ask O'Toole to describe it, but he can't see colors, so... He's being defensive about it, and I think we all know that it's a lie. What color do I play in a uh, Age of Empires? It's not burgundy. It's like magenta, guys. It's like... It's a similar color to this. So, question for the audience. Is this burgundy? Guys, this is, uh, is my, my cat's shutter shades burgundy? No. <laughs> the tool's over here saying, yeah, totally. Cat's shutter shades are burgundy. Ah, uh, let's see, let's read the bottle. Fun fuchsia, dear. Hey, yeah, Miss Jet says it's pink. Hey. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking this side. It's turning out um, pretty good. Like, better than expected. Like, oh yeah, I'll do a vision. It's probably gonna, gonna suck, but I'm gonna do it because I love Genshin. I stopped playing for a little bit, but it threw me back in. I only do my dailies right now because I've run out of story quests, but with the new update, I'll probably get to play a bunch more again. But I gotta play my farming sims too, you know? Get those husbandos to date. Been playing Harvest... Well, it's not Harvest Moon, sorry. It's Story of Seasons because they can't legally call it Harvest Moon. Even though what they're calling Harvest Moon is not made by any of the people who made any of the original games, but it's fine. Yeah, Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town is my go-to game during the week while O'Toole's working. Mainly because I don't need the sound for it. And I don't think anyone he talks to wants to hear my weeb shit in the background. Plus, you know, he'd probably get fired, so let's avoid that. Mwah. more yeah oh yeah yeah that's an animal vision right there oh yeah and that derpy spot there is gonna get covered up right nice so I do three coats whoops touch the green that's fine three coats of yellow just to get a nice, smooth consistency. Oh, wiped away some of that. I guess the white wasn't dry. It's fine, we can fix it. We've got the technology. Yeah, definitely not burgundy. That's what I'm talking about. It's fine, he's just a little blind, a little color blind. I should get him like one of those uh, color tester charts or something. See how far it extends. Like 
He told me my hair was purple the other day. That was a sad day. I've been telling one of my friends, No! O'Toole knows what color my hair is. If I ask him, he's gonna say it's pink. There is some purple here. And the majority is pink, though. Not like, tip it up for a second. Yeah. I think that's what's it. Pretty quick. Hmm? It's okay. I still love him. Disabilities and all. Here, I think some yellow green might, might help. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, I'm gonna like do the sides just to, like color it in this, and then I'm gonna do like storms, storms on top of it. Be that the fellow green is the color that I want. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good color. Just means it by itself. I'll use what I have here to mix all this. Oh, I'm so messy. That's fine. I think that'll be that'll be good for what I'm what I'm doing anyways. It'll look close enough. Oh yeah. So fucking derpy.
my intense focus on here. I find it hard to talk while I'm like focusing really hard on uh, doing little minute details in this. I think we're almost done. I think all I need to do now is do my last bit of yellow. Uh, I think the yellow is fine, so I might actually just edge out the vision. Nice, thick, black, or, yeah, I'd like to black, easy enough. And that'll cover up some of these, uh, messy lines that I got going on. And these here are also supposed to be black, I think. So we'll do that. Please. Yeah, we'll just do this little nubbin over here later, uh, once everything's like properly dry. So layer the white on pretty thick to cover up the little blue messy spot, so it's going to take a while to dry properly. That's okay. I hear the bean crying. What's wrong? You want to put your mouth on all the things? Don't jump up there. Don't jump up there. Hey. You can't fit. No. You're going to knock every... You're going to knock oh. everything off there. Oh, hey. Stop. Stop. no. Hey. <laughs> no. Oh, she understands. Are you sure? She's a dumbass. Oh, shoot. You see, she was trying to jump up on top of our record player, and there's a lot of stuff up there, and she would not have fit if you jumped. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Coming together. That's a really shitty circle around it, but you know what? It's fine. Hi again, Bean. Can I help you, young lady? 
Dad wouldn't let me jump up on top of the rep record player. There were things I wanted to put my mouth on. O'Toole and I are the kind of people that do dumb voices for our cats, just like FYI. It's fine. Yeah. Makes them, you know, a little bit more, uh, more interesting. All right, we'll just make a bit of white in here. Uh, cover up my green mistake. And then I'll do a... What are you touching? Go away. Oh, this fucking cat. I love her dearly, but she's a she's a piece of shit sometimes. All right, Animo Vision done. Get out of here! Get out of the cords. Is she out. No, she's not. She's here. Hey. Come here. Ah, oh, come here, you shit. Here's the bean, guys. Hello, everybody. I want to fuck with everything. Ah! She's really cute, but she's uh, horribly, horribly inbred and kind of an asshole. But oh, look at her go berry in her head. She's so shy. Don't want me shaming you to the internet? Maybe don't be a fuck. Yeah, she's a big suck. Gonna leave? Oh, Ed was saying hello! Well, I'm sure Bean would have said hello back. Her little... <laughs> hey, how's the deja vu going? Well, she didn't try to get up on the desk. She went under the desk. So I think we're good. I think we're good. I mean, like, like I said, I'm aware of it now, so I'm like taking steps to make sure it uh, doesn't go horribly awry. All right, so we're gonna I'm painting the sides with the, the green now, and this is gonna be like Aether Storms from Grim Dawn, and then I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna put like sheep or something on it, stuff from Minecraft, uh, maybe some AOE sheep. We're gonna have like hyper detailed sheep next to blocky minecraft rainbow sheep i don't know I haven't decided yet might just stay regular ass ah fuck either storms for a while okay i fixed it all is well ah fuck i'm a mess Yeah, no, not gonna, not gonna let the the bean get up on the desk and walk through things, cause that would, that would suck. She would a hundred percent just walk through all the paints and rub her dumb butt all over everything and just be like, wah, 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 wah. the reason I make that that noise whenever I'm like pretending to meow as the bean is because she doesn't know how to meow properly. Like none of her cats do. I don't know if it's just a cat thing or like, do you guys like, do you guys have like cats? Have you seen cats like meow normally? Like, you know, do the stereotypical meow kind of thing? Cause none of my cats have ever done that. Cause it's always more of a meh, meh kind of thing. And Sooty goes, ow. But he uh, doesn't like us to see him meow. He gets really embarrassed. If, uh, yeah, he hoots, that's a good descriptor. Pulling the, the kalimba back away from the camera because I'm trying to paint, but we go. okay, we're gonna let those sides dry for a second. And uh then I'll do the other parts where I was like touching. Let's see. Just gotta 
check my other notifications. All your cats have sounded different? Oh! Very nice. Okay. So it's not just our cats. Maybe just old cats just don't know how to meow normally. Maybe there's no such thing as a normal meowing cat. Who knows? Yeah, so I'm gonna glitter up back here as well when all the paint's dry to seal it. Because you know, glitter. Glitter is life. a little lopsided like it's a little bigger on this side I think but whatever I think it looks fine Fine. Maybe the other storm's gonna have a bit of yellow in it. Doesn't have to be perfect on the Bob Ross of my world. I do what I want. I'm the one who's gonna have to look at this Kalimba, so. Fuck it. Come at me, Bob Ross. Just don't, because if you did, you'd be a zombie, and that'd be really spooky. I'm gonna have to do the glitter seal on the front before I can uh, put the hardware on. I might do that in a minute so that it'll have time to dry. I'm gonna let it rest on its side like this for a second so that it'll uh, dry out a little bit. See there's a bit of a spot for where I was touching it. There we go. All better. So. Oh. All right, well that takes a, sec a second to dry. I'm gonna just go grab a beverage. I will be right back, guys. Alright, back with a snack and a drink. Pretty hungry, so 
to prevent the hanger while I finish off this kalimba, we're gonna have a banana. But you know, no people can't watch me eat the banana. I'm gonna be eating it off camera because fuck those creeps. <laughs> I mean, unless, of course, people want to watch me eat it and just watch me uh, aggressively bite it in half while maintaining direct eye contact with the camera. I'm told it makes guys really uncomfortable when you do that. Like, show all the teeth and just chomp. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. Look at this bullshit. Alright, how are we looking? Okay, I think I can lay this down so I can do my glitter coat. Uh, we'll just use, we're just gonna use the big paintbrush for the glitter. Uh, I see I don't have any free spots on it, so I'm just gonna use the paint. One of the grossest games you ever had to play was eating a banana through pantyhose. That is disgusting! This is Miss Jet! Yeah, O'Toole uh, overheard me reading that and he is justifiably horrified. What the fuck kind of game were you playing? I've got questions, Miss Jet. Questions. Yeah, that sounds awful. Like, oh my god. No, thank you. Holy shit, like, that just threw a pantyhose. Like, that doesn't sound like a good time. You were pregnant at the time, so. Your gag reflex was questionable. Oh my god. Dear lord. Uh oh. Uh, some black must not have been dry. Oh, that's weird. Thought I gave it enough time, but I guess uh, not. That's okay. We can clean it up. We have the technology. Like so. Alright, so now we gotta let the glitter dry, of course. Bobbing for spam? What? Yeah, bobbing for spam! So like, do you take the spam out of the tin and just put the lump of spam floating in the water? Like, is that is that how you play it? Like, your lord. actually did them both well you are a braver woman than I because I would have refused to do at the very least the spam one because I 
think I would have puked. So I'm very, I'm very particular about texture and I uh, think soggy meat. That, uh, I think that would be a hard no from me. A very, very hard no. Okay, I need to look up the order to put the Kalimba things on. You were the last one to go, so three to four other people spit before you. That's awful. No thanks. How to assemble a kalimba. Okay, I just want to know, like, the order to put the things in. Okay, uh, this one has a lot more things than mine, but that's okay. I just need to know the order for the piano bits. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, let's see what I've got. Okay, so I've got... This is G5. So that's like the middle one? No, wait. There's two Gs. I don't know which G it is! Uh. No, that's just songs. What? Kalimba, please. Okay, yeah, well, I don't want to, I don't care about making the Klimba, I care about putting the things in the right order. You know, what, what order do the prongs go on a Kalimba? I guess keys would be a better word. Keys. How do you organize music on the cone? No, it's not what I want. Okay. Guys, I don't know how calypas work. <laughs> okay, let me see what I've got. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna flip these all over so I can look at maybe they're like numbered. E2? Maybe not. By length? So like the longest ones go in the middle then, right? I've got two E3s and they're different lengths. Yeah, these are both E3. Ugh, oh, fuck. Okay, C1 looks like my longest one. A, wait, what's this? I don't know what this is. I wish these things came with instructions. Yeah, I don't I don't know what this is for. Okay, because I know like I mean this is gonna Okay, 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 let me look let me look at the thing. How to assemble to install thumb keys on your thumb piano. Okay, okay, okay. He's got something that looks like mine. Let me turn on the subtitles. Little standing lock. Okay, I see. Okay, he's got one of these too.
Okay, well, I don't care about a lot of this, but okay. Alright. Oh, I think that's what this divot is for. I think this goes, like, right there. Maybe? Okay, I'm watching him. He's doing a thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're cleaning this off. So you've got this. And he's, uh, he's putting it down. Here, I guess I'll take this out of the way. Yeah? And he has a Phillips head and he's uh, doing his thing. Okay, okay, alright. So far, making sense. Making sense. Yeah. Okay, so. Screw them down a bit. Don't want to screw them all the way in, alright. Just a bit. Okay. Um. Is this supposed to be crooked? <laughs> Is this supposed to be crooked? Okay. <laughs> O'Toole says yes, I'm gonna have to trust him. Okay, then he put this here. I mean, his doesn't look crooked. But these are where the screw holes were, so. Mm -hmm. and of course, I've got this coated in glitter paint now. That's fine. All right. You can pull out the top ones and the most, the longest ones. We'll put those in the middle. Okay, well, obviously. Okay, and they point downwards. Okay, so let me see. Where are my longest ones? Okay, so. E. Three. And F four are the same length as is G. Wait, no, there's no. Are they the same length? Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how kalimbas work. Maybe it's supposed to like count. Like so goes like C. We go like C one. Seven is okay. All right, well, these are our two longest ones, so I guess they're going to go in the middle. I well, like to make these subtitles bigger. Font size, 100%. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the low note is in the middle, so the longest one, they're, they're the same length. Uh, he's bending his stuff a bit more, but I'm not going to bend mine. We're just gonna hope that it's right. Okay, so. I guess it goes like in the middle. Okay, it goes like up a bit more like this. Okay. So the three, what's my second longest, I guess? This one? Wait, 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 pause, pause. 
Maybe I should go look at the reviews for this kalimba that I bought and see if it has any instructions. Because <laughs> they uh, they just send it to me. They don't give me the instructions. Oh, hey, Abby. Welcome, welcome. How did your stream go? All right, let's go. Let's go look at this kalimba that I bought and see if anybody has, like a link to the instructions on how to put it together because I genuinely don't know if I can't find instructions I'm just gonna wing it oh no it's gone uh kalimba kalimba yeah. okay okay Like this is a picture of like the keys kind of in order it looks like please please I think I can see oh yeah here we go so they have it um, so it goes E3 then the little C1 then the F4 D. Okay, let's take these out here. D. Two. C one. C one. E three. G five. B seven. D two. Okay, here's my. Here's that's the. Uh, that's the order for my kalimba. You ended up personal besting by seven minutes for 20 seconds. Nice, congratulations. That's exciting. Many people come by to say hi. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these other kalimbas. How do you put the keys on them? Let's just kind of, kind of just put them on and spread them out a little bit. All right, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna do the best we can, guys. But this is by no means a professional DIY kalimba assembly stream. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how kalimbas work. Um, I can always make adjustments after the fact if I need to, but... I know I don't want them so close that they're touching. So some of them are going to be on the either sides of the screws. No, it was very quiet. Oh, that's too bad. So now you're trying to get a bit more of a, maybe the European crew by streaming earlier there. Okay, all right. I'm looking at I'm looking at an image of this kalimba in particular now. Okay, um, the thing's not supposed to be crooked. Yeah, this isn't supposed to be crooked, guys. I'm looking at it right now. The pictures. It's not. It's not supposed to be crooked. Uh, we're gonna fix that. I think you know what. I think the wood's soft enough that I can probably like do it myself or I'll, like get O'Toole to do it if I can't do it maybe Can I, let me let me let me try it so it should be right here oh no that was one of my kalimba things you did get like five follows after? Oh yeah? 
five follows. What the heck? Did you raid someone? Shit, where did that go? <laughs> Maybe I lost a Kalimba piece. Oh, no, I found it. Oh nice, who, who did you raid? Sorted here. Oh, you raided Liz. Oh, nice. I was thinking of raiding her after this if she was uh, still alive. She's always a good choice. All right, let's see if we can get this going. All right, there we go, yeah. So that's, um, I think it's still slightly crooked, but it's better. So we're gonna just do that. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I, I was just looking at um, how to assemble the kalimba. Let's see. So that one goes there. D2 goes next to it. F4 goes like that. A6? I don't have an A6. Okay, C1 and E3 go here. And the other E3 goes over here along with G5. Oh, I do have an A6. There it is. And then B7 and D2 on the end. All right, so we, and we want them so that they're not touching and approximately evenly spaced out, like as close to evenly spaced out as we can get. Yeah, you know what? That looks pretty good. That looks, that looks pretty good. Oh, my music stopped. I guess I gotta restart that again. Way to go. Here it is. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, there we go. So now we gotta very carefully put the screws in. And try to keep the keys well set up right. There we go. 
all coming together. There we go. Oh, saw that shift a little bit, but that should be okay. Should be good, should be good, should be good. Alright, and now for the other side. You know, I'm probably just gonna yeah, get this on, try out get the Aether Storm stuff on, and then I'm probably gonna call it there. I'm getting hungry. There we go. Good enough. Oh, the screws are so shitty. I'm bad at doing this. Please. Do you think you can get it the rest of the way? Just have to be careful not to jiggle those too much. Do you have the uh, smaller screwdriver? No. Because they're bigger screws. Yeah, it's just spinning. It's um, they'd all be in the closet still. Oh, okay. That would be more ideal for what we got going on. Yeah, Kalimba! I always gotta call O'Toole in at least once to do some of the technical part of the building process. Mwah. Let's see. I don't know how to tune a kalimba, so this is probably really out of tune. <laughs> oh, it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And Baba Baba Black Sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, okay, so our kalimba is functional. Horribly out of tune, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't even care. You know what? I don't. I don't give two fucks. Uh, I'll fix up. The... No. No, that's the only technical aspect of this. All 
Alright. Alright, Kalimba is functional. Uh, the vision on the back looks nice. The rad neon cat screaming on the front looks pretty fucking rad. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to just do the Aether Storm stuff later. Uh, this is a Kalimba. It's a like a thumb piano thing. The, uh, yeah, a kalimba is the name of the instrument that I've been painting and building. All right, we got some sick glitter on the front. Once the back dries, I'll be putting some more sick glitter over the vision part. And on the sides, I'm gonna paint it with like aether storms, kind of like in Grim Dawn. Uh, but I'm gonna do that later. I've got the paint all mixed up, but I'll just do it later. And yeah, once it's uh, finished, finished, I'll post some pictures of it, but I think we are done for the time being because I do hunger quite a bit. All right, let's see. Stream ending. Ah, uh, who is live? Ah, I see Kick Me Papa is still alive. I was thinking of raiding her. Let's see what it looks like she's doing. Yeah, it looks like she's probably still going to be going for a bit longer, so I'll probably go raid Liz. What kind of instrument? What do you mean? What do you mean, what kind of instrument? It's a thumb piano. You play it with your thumbs, you hold it like this, and you... So I, I don't know what you mean by uh, asking what kind of instrument, <laughs> sorry. It's just a fun, funky little instrument. I don't know anything about its origins or uh, what culture produced the kalimba. All I know is that it's pretty funky and I like it and I found one cheap for DIY. All right, so we are, yeah, so we're gonna end her there. Um, we're gonna go see Kick Me Papa, cause I know she's streaming and uh, she always gets the worst clips of me when I do raid. So you know what, we're gonna go raid and we're gonna go see what clips she gets of me today. All right, okie dokie. So thank you very much everybody for coming to hang out while I painted and built my kalimba with the assistance of O'Toole as per usual. I love you all dearly. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah, again, no stream Friday cause I'm gonna be down in the city visiting people, so. I might do a bonus uh, weekend stream. I don't know. I'm getting my second vaccination, so I might be dying. All right. Have a good night, guys. I love you. Um, bye.